vaccinated, as you said, about 30,000 patients in Norway, and many of these patients have, are living in nursing homes, and many of them are, are very severe diseases and are very frail people. So we expected to have some vets in close uh, temporal connection with uh, the vaccinations. So when but we started looking at some of these adverse reactions, we saw that some of the most frail people, some of the oldest people, seem to have adverse reactions, the common adverse reactions for these vaccines, fever, nausea, diarrhea, etc. And, and since they are very sick, we, it may be ha affected their underlying severe disease, the course of their underlying severe disease. So what are you saying now to people who are handing out the vaccines? What are they meant to do? How do they assess if somebody is too frail or too old or not well enough to take the vaccine? Is there, is, is there any sort of standardised practice that you, you're telling these people? No, no it's a very difficult to standardise this. This will be a decision made by the attending physician, the nurses, the relatives and the patient itself. And what we say that if you have patients who are very frail, very sick and have a short remaining lifespan, you should do some extra evaluation of the appropriateness of vaccinating these uh, patients. There will be people who are watching this who've got elderly relatives who are maybe a little bit concerned by the news that they're hearing. Can you just impress on people how small a amount of people this is, however tragic it is, just yes. to reassure people that this isn't something that should necessarily be too frightening? No, no, this is not frightening. We, we expected to have some vets in the nursing homes, and uh, this uh, is only uh, 13 cases, about 30,000 patients. So it's very, very rare. So people does not have to be afraid of the vaccination.